Hey everybody, Gabriella here from Logify. Today I'm gonna to be showing you the first few steps of getting started with your Logify account. We're gonna take it slow, so feel free to join in with us. This is gonna be part one in a getting started with Logify series. If you have any issues or any questions, please reach out to our support team. You can find more information in the description about how to connect with them. Shall we get started? So here you can pick how many rentals you manage. There's an option for one to five, and there's also an option for I manage six or more properties. Today we're gonna to focus on this one, I manage one to five properties. If you manage six or more properties, check in the description below on information on how to get started. We have three options when you click get started. So you can sign up for a trial, you can explore a product demo, or you can book a demo call. If you wanna to speak to someone about Logify, I recommend pressing this one. But today we're gonna to sign up for our free trial. So we're gonna press this one. First of all, we need to enter our email. We need to enter our name and make sure it's the name of the person that's gonna be using the account. Next, we add our phone number. And finally, we wanna enter in our password. Next, you can let us know what you're looking for. So we have bookable website, the booking engine for an external website, channel manager, property management, or other needs. We're gonna click these three. Lastly, we could put in how many rentals that we're gonna be managing. However, we can adjust this if needed. Next, you need to verify your email. And there you have it, we're all set. We have a few more steps, but let's go through them. Next, we choose the channels where your rentals are listed. We have Airbnb, Booking.com, Verbo, uh, Expedia, and others. It's prompting us to enter the details for our first rental. We can either copy the rental from Airbnb, or we can create a new one, or up here, we can exit out of it. This brings us to our main page. We can see up in the top how many days are left of our free trial, and it gives us a little kind of status bar here, explaining how much of our rental we have left to set up, uh, conveyor our website, payments, and connecting our channels. Don't worry, we're gonna go through all of this in a future video. If you have an Airbnb and you wanna copy the details into Logify, skip this video and tune into the next one. Here, we're gonna show you how to create a new rental within Logify. So we're gonna click here. First of all, we wanna enter our rental's public name. You can also add an internal name or a nickname for the property. I'm gonna keep it the same. Next, we put in the address of the rental. Once you've entered the address, we can press next. We're gonna add some photos in here. Don't worry, we can come back at a later stage and add in more photos and make it a little bit more personalized. For now, we're just gonna add in one. We can press next. Here we can put in some information about how many guests we can accommodate, the bedrooms and the bathrooms. We can also select some amenities that our rental has. Again, we can come back to this later. For now, I'm just gonna put AC. We can put in the nightly price. Here we can enter our property description. And lastly, we can choose how we want to accept bookings. So we have instant booking or booking request. Instant booking is when a booking is accepted instantly without you having to do anything. Whereas a booking request, either only gonna be accepted after you review and approve it. After you've completed these steps, your rental is complete. We can go back, like I said, and kind of further fine tune the rental. Here you have an option to go to the dashboard or create the website. I'm gonna to head to the dashboard because in the next video, we're gonna show you how to create the website. So this is your dashboard. If you're wondering where your rental is, if you come up to the little hamburger menu up here in the top left-hand corner and scroll down to rentals, you'll see it there. If you wanna go into this rental and edit some more information, 
this is where you go. Here you can see a total overview of your rental. So you can see the photos, location, seasonal rates, fees and taxes, and lots of other things. If there's anything here that you're unsure about or you'd like to learn more about, leave it in the comment below and we can cover it in a future video. For now, I'm gonna head back to the dashboard. If you're unsure about what step you're at setting up your Logify account, there is your progress bar on the dashboard that gives you some helpful tips and kind of the next steps to get started. So you can see here, our next step would be creating the website. So that's what we're gonna cover in our next video. I hope this was helpful for you guys. If you have any questions or anything, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you for joining in and we'll see you in the next one.